Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. So before we dive into the tutorial, I would like to thank every single one of you who have been a subscriber to this channel. So we finally hit 10,000 subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers for a geoscience and geology mining engineering channel. So I'm really thankful for that. And let's continue and try to take that to 100,000 subscribers. I'm sure we can do that, guys. So in the, in the past previous tutorials, we've seen how to use Python and QGIS. Python is a scripting language and QGIS is an open source GIS tool. Now in QGIS, you can use Python inside the script editor. But did you know that you can use Python in a different way inside the QGIS and it will allow you to automate things and be able to execute Python scripts with mouse clicks? Yes, that's really awesome. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'm going to show you this amazing trick that you can use with your drill hole data. So make sure to watch the video till the end because I'm sure you're going to learn a lot today. Okay, so before we dive into the tutorial, I would like to mention two things is that you can support the channel by liking the videos, subscribing if you're new to the channel. We cover everything from geology, mining engineering, geoscience, Python applied to geoscience and GIS and mining engineering. You can do that or if you're kind enough, you can head over to patreon.com mining geologist and be a supporter there. You can support the channel. And I would like to thank uh, Boalia, who is the first Patreon for, you know, being kind enough to really start supporting this channel. And it really takes time and effort uh, to come up with these ideas. So uh, you can do that if you want so. But if you uh, if you don't want, you can still watch the videos for free. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe and I'm really uh, thankful for that. So let's go and take a look at uh, what are we going to do today. So as you can see, I have a point data set which represents the drill holes. So uh, in the past tutorials, we've used the script editor here to create a script that we can use it to automate things inside QGIS. We can import layers, we can uh, calculate or create new features inside an existing layer. And we've seen a lot of things and we even created a simple pit designer in QGIS. So if you're interested in that, you can go and check the video uh, on my channel. But and there is another way you can use Python if you don't want to like go here and uh, click on something if you want to run Python for a specific feature, like a feature in our case here could be a drill hole. Maybe you want to see like the elevation of that one, or maybe you can apply, uh, you want to apply like, uh, you know, a simple calculation to that specific drill hole that you're clicking, maybe randomly one here, the other one is here and so on. So we can do that with what we call actions. The, this is actually the button for the actions. And the action can be used for a single layer. So let me show you two different examples. They are both of them. They are simple examples, but they're going to give you an idea how you can use actions in QGIS. So if you right click on the layer and go to properties, and then you go down to actions, you can go and create a new action by clicking on the add new action button here, the plus uh, icon. And basically what you will have here is this window. So let me go and close this one and open one of these. So let me double click here. This is one of the actions. It's a really simple one. As you can see, there are just three lines of code in Python and they are very simple. You can use Python or you can use other things like if you're running QGIS on uh, Unix or Linux or uh, Windows or Mac, you can go and execute command uh, lines or, or like, uh, you know, 
you can go to CMD, for example, and execute like uh, a code that will open a file for you or like it's going to run something for you, like you open a software or export something or you can do that. So or you can use Python, which is my favorite scripting language. And I created this simple script. I call it like below or above 3000. Maybe I want to check like I have, I don't know, like um, um, water elevation and I want to check all the holes that are above that or I have something at 3000 uh, like uh, uh, altitude and I want to check all the holes that are above that or below that. So the action scopes, these are the um, the things that Python will have access to when you're executing that. So we have access to things in Canva. This is the Canva is basically the 2D viewer, the layer, the fields uh, and the features inside that layer. So the script is really simple. What I'm doing is I'm doing if then what I can do here is let me go and delete this one. I can select any of the uh, columns inside that layer. In my case, it's going to be Z, which is the elevation. So I'm going to go and insert that here. So I'm saying if the elevation is equal or above 3000, I want you to print above. Otherwise, I want you to print below. It's a really simple script, but it shows you that you can create any kind of calculation that you want. So you can say, in, uh, for example, print uh, 3000 plus 500 or uh, elevation plus, uh, I don't know, like plus the uh, Y or whole ID, print the whole ID or anything that you can imagine. You can go and create a script for that here. But this is just to show you what's possible with Python actions. If I click on OK and click on OK here, now inside the actions for that specific layer, so by the way, the layer need to be selected, I can go and activate this one. And now you can see that the cursor changes to this plus sign. If I click on this one, for example, you can see that inside the uh, Python here uh, console, I'm getting below. If I click on this one, it's going below. This one is above, this one is above. If I click here, this one is above, this one is above. So you get the idea. You can go and click on these drill holes and it's going to show you that, uh, that result. Now, one other cool idea, which is the idea that I told you that if you stick to the end, I'm going to show you this really amazing thing that you can do with basically a few lines of code. So imagine with me that you have like different, uh, let me go and open this one, for example, and show you. So these are like um, uh, core uh, images. These are for, let's say, for different drill holes. By the way, these are dummy, just I stitched a couple of cores from, uh, you know, uh, I got them online. So uh, they're not like real data or anything like that. So imagine you have these in different PDF files and you've got the name like drill hole and then the whole name. You can do this basically even if you have like one report, you can create like a Python script that's going to like divide that report into different PDF files or images or whatever that you want and put them in the same folder or whatever the folder that you have. In my case, it's called QGSTUT, for example. And what I can do now is something really amazing. So you can see if I go to the attribute table, I have these holes, but not all of them. So what I can create is this amazing action that will allow me to take a look at that uh, the core of that uh, drill hole when I click on the hole. So if I uh, open this action here, again, we do the same thing. We call this open drill uh, hole report. And what we need for this one is we need to do like from QGIS utils import iFace. We just need iFace for this one. But other than that, we are going to try this. We do try, try, which means that as it says, we need to try this one. If it works, then it works. If it does not work, it's going to jump to this one, the exception. We're going to see what is this exception. Basically, I define a variable here called PDF file then this PDF file is basically equal to the uh, path 
in which I have all the different uh, reports plus drill hole since all the files starts with drill hole then what I do here is I go to uh, the hole ID and insert that here like the way we did with the elevation and then plus PDF okay so we have like the path for that report and then I do OS dot start file PDF file which is this one so in case such a file exists this line of code here is going to show me that file and if it doesn't exist if we don't have it we use that I face here that we've imported to create a message bar so we're going to have a message in the message bar and we push the message the type of the message is going to be an error and it's going to show me this message here no report found for that uh, for the selected drill hole and then we are going to use this level equal to QGIS warning. It's a really simple, uh, you know, Python script here, but let me show you how it works. If I click on OK. So now if I go to the action and choose open drill hole report and I click on this one, for example, you can see it's going to show me that dummy core uh, data and you can see this is the whole name basically I have the same core data for all of the holes but I changed th just the names so if I, if I click on this one for example you can see it's a different hole and again the same image but in your case it's going to be something different so you can have any kind of data related to like uh, a drill hole data or anything like that and you can use the same thing you can click on any one of these and it's going to open that report for you so you don't have to like uh, look at the details in here, jump to the report and try to locate that file or that uh, sharp or whatever is the thing and trying to waste your uh, time. So for example, this one, if I click on this one, in case we don't have any report uh, for that drill hole, we're going to see this error, no report found for that selected drill hole. And I can move to the next one and the next one if I click on this one for example we have the report for that one so it's going to be shown automatically and I'm sure you will find some amazing ways to automate things and I'm sure that a lot of you are going to like this method and if you do like it make sure to like this video hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and with that being said see you in the next video He's the mining geologist Here to show you all the things That you might have missed He's got plenty of software tips And tricks for your geosci